Hello, the aim of this paper is to consider how private international law can apply or adapt to cross-border disputes involving artificial intelligence. There are two objectives. The first is to consider how private international law should be included in current regulatory discussions. And second, artificial intelligence is not the same as other forms of cross-border technology. Private international law has responded to cross-border technological challenges in the past. Today's question is whether artificial intelligence is a matter of substance or degree for private international law. The literature on artificial intelligence suggests there are two prevalent issues of substance. First, the nature and continued evolution of the artificial intelligence value chain, and secondly, questions of governance. The response of this paper is to propose a three-step approach which seeks to adapt the theory of policy and pragmatism in private international law by evaluating the techniques and aiming for pragmatic cooperation. Firstly, on the policy and pragmatism of private international law, private international law can support first order norms by minimising reliance on excessively conceptual methods and with a view to reducing litigation and transaction risk, which is important in the light of the inherent characteristics of artificial intelligence. In response, the paper proposes that artificial intelligence rules may require to be mandatory rules that operate to protect those who engage with artificial intelligence at any stage, regardless of the jurisdiction and applicable law. Secondly, private international law's techniques may have to be considered as to whether they can apply or adapt. For example, in classification, whilst we can determine the nature of the legal dispute, it may depend on the nature of the artificial intelligence, which may in turn require a new shared definition of characterising the dispute. In terms of connecting factors, again it will depend on the nature and use of artificial intelligence to ensure that the place of closest connection to the dispute is ascertained. In terms of jurisdiction, there are two examples. The impact on proceedings in another jurisdiction, including Liz Pendens, provisional measures and forum convenience may have to be considered in the light of artificial intelligence. And the principle of party autonomy. Whilst it could be permitted and is of significant benefit to parties in the AI value chain who can build that into their choice, where is the end user protection? This connects to choice of law. Ultimately, there is a tension between party autonomy to select the applicable law in an AI dispute and the role of mandatory rules which are there to protect the social, economic and political order of a state. And finally, in terms of IPL's techniques of public policy, the need for pragmatic cooperation is necessary when AI is unacceptable to society, seriously detrimental to national interests or results in a particularly unjust result or breaches human rights. In conclusion, policy and pragmatism at the heart of private international law must address current techniques to ensure a value basis and cooperative strategy that prioritises the rule of law and enforcement of rights regardless of regulatory preferences of individual states or markets.